I'm Angela, nice to meet you. Welcome to GST Power Hour, Affiliate Marketing. So some of the tools that you can use is on Instagram, you know, you can pull your audience. And you, y'all, if you just ask your people on your stories, people will tell you. They will flat out just tell you. Like we do it to, with Collective. It's like, we went on and we're like, what do you wanna know? Do you wanna learn about Google? Do you wanna learn about marketing? Do you wanna know about TikToks? Do you wanna know about Reels? Like, what do you wanna know? And based on how people vote and how people gauge, that's how we choose the next topic. So, but it's like, don't do it to sell all the time. It's like when I had COVID, which I have all this content on, I haven't posted it yet because I wanted to like make sure I wasn't gonna die for real, y'all. It was that bad. Because some of the stuff that worked for some of my friends, it didn't do anything for me. I will tell you like Pedialyte popsicles, I've never paid $20 for a thing of popsicles from Amazon Fresh, but I did it and I would eat like five popsicles a day. And like, I think Pedialyte like helped me keep going until I could like go get IVs for my doctor. So it's like, if Pedialyte was like, hey, will you talk? I'm like, yes, I will talk about your product. I feel like you saved my life and kept my electrolytes up. But it's like, when I sit down and like post that stuff, I'll probably tell a story with it. I'm not gonna be like, hey, go get Pedialyte popsicles. It's like, I had COVID and I pooped everything out or vomited it up. I'm just honest, but the Pedialyte, I, I could eat five a day and I could keep it down and it helped keep me hydrated. And yeah, my mom thinks I'm crazy for paying $20 for 10 popsicles, but it helped. You know, so it's like telling a story with it also helps. Um, so, but just ask your audience. And so it's like, I would probably ask like, what worked for you, did vitamin D? So it's not like you're always trying to constantly sell something and you wanna add value. And again, whatever platform you're using, make sure that you are using some type of a plugin. Like I said, we use Pretty Links and then there's also Bitly, B-I-T dot L-I. It tracks everything. <clears throat> Step four is again, if you're gonna sign up to be an affiliate of other people's programs, just track it in a Google Sheet. I know I'm like a broken record with it, but just track it. So step five is if you're gonna share your link, and I'm gonna show you guys how we do it, you can do it on your blog, you can do it on your website, or in social media. So the way that we do it is on our blog, we have, we call them ads, but they're just like internal ads, right? So like, this is our four steps to productivity. It's a free course. So these are just sidebar ads, like subscribe to the podcast. Here's GSD Academy. Here's request a free call. So if you have a blog and you're not, you don't have sidebar ads for your own stuff and your own favorite things, think about doing that. A lot of people, will on their blogs, they run ads for other companies, which we've done it before for resorts, um, things that we actually would tell people to go have a wedding or vacation. Now I'm doing like a podcast tour. So we have an affiliate deal with that. I'm gonna show you guys the back end to that. So that's one way is putting the yes. sidebar blog ad. Yep. The other way, and Leah, I think this would be really good for you, is in your highlights on your stories for Instagram. So we actually have a highlight, oh, that's hard to see, um, that says resources. Now some people will say like free stuff or affiliates. Um, I'm a little jaded from being in the luxury industry. We never say the word free and we never say the word cheap. In affiliate marketing, it's totally different. People love free stuff. And so I'm trying to get better and I'm trying to change my mindset. But right now I'm just stuck on resources. And so some of these things, like if you go and watch the, the highlight, the, it's not like super salesy. Like I'll just be telling a story or I'll do a podcast and say, hey, today's prod podcast is brought to you by Kajabi. So if you're looking to do courses, Kajabi is my favorite. And then people will come and say, well, why is it your favorite? What about Teachable? What about Skillshare? What about that? I mean, there's so many now. I'm like, well, for me, it's the affiliate thing. So, and they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, oh, well, we have affiliates who market our program and they get paid every time someone purchases GSC Academy. 
and Kajabi has a built-in way that tracks everything. And they're like, but Kajabi's more expensive. Yes, but here's how I justify it. If I'm paying $300 a month, with, but I have an affiliate deal, or I'm paying a person, which is gonna cost me more than $300 a month, to do the manual labor, to do all the tracking of all of our affiliates, like all the people, and then to go and pay them out because it's not automated. So it's, to me, I'd rather pay more for the platform even if I didn't have an affiliate with them because I would have to be paying a person to be doing all of this. And then there's more room for error as well. So that's another way to get your affiliate deals out there is to make put them on your stories and then put them in a highlight for people. For um, you have the swipe up option, mm -hmm. you have followers. What do you recommend for people that don't have a swipe up? Is that under the resources? How do you provide those the affiliate link? We used to make a bit.ly link for everything. Right. And so if you don't have the swipe up option, I would just say like, you know, or do a pretty link. Um, the other thing that you could do that may be a little bit more user friendly rather than someone like screenshotting it is you'll see right here in my link tree, mm -hmm. you can say link in bio. Mm -hmm. and, and again, this it takes a little bit of work. Every time we put out a new podcast, you've got to go to link tree each week and change the top to say link in bio. And then when people go to the link in the bio, the very first thing says latest podcast. And you can go in on the back end and like turn them off and on. Mm -hmm. So that's another way yeah. that that I would use if you don't have the swipe up. The number one platform that most of our engagement is on, on is Instagram. Mm -hmm. So that's why, and Instagram has so many features, which that's next month's GSD Power Hour, mm -hmm. is all about like Instagram reels and guides and how the algorithm is changing. Um, it's really fascinating. Do you use, I mean, or do you know people that use affiliate links also on LinkedIn for maybe more of the like productivity stuff? Mm -hmm. is that, okay. Yeah, definitely. And LinkedIn actually, if you put in a link, LinkedIn changes it like to their own little link. So that's just something to watch for uh, to make sure that it's actually tracking it. Because when you sure. put a link in LinkedIn, so just be careful. So there are other ways to, to get it out there. So for example, like we will go on and do YouTube videos. And like, I know you guys have seen the kids unboxing things, right? Yes. And it's like they unbox these toys. There's like a gazillion, a million views. And then it's like, oh, my affiliate link's down there. And these kids are selling toys and making $8 million a month. Like, it's nuts. You guys, it's insane. It's a whole <laughs> different level of business. And, you know, people go on. And again, they want to support them because they're adding value. I mean, it takes time to, you know, out of your day to stop. We, we do it into our business to do YouTube videos and also just around like some of the things. And again, like I'm just completely honest um, about it. And also like some of the courses that we've done. So that's the other way with like affiliates because there's so many online courses and some of them are great and some of them are not so great. Um, Again, I go back to Kajabi, not only for the affiliate, but the other thing I will mention is the user experience. So if you are going to do an online course, you wanna know where your traffic is coming from. The way that you do that, you sign up on Google Analytics, totally free. Make sure your URL is being tracked through Google Analytics and 90 days worth of data, this is why we do beta groups, to see where your traffic is coming from. So what we found is on our courses, I don't know why, and I don't know, again, why people would do this, but I like to do my courses like on my big computer at home. People do them on their phone, y'all. Like 80% of people were accessing courses on their phone. Well, on Teachable and, what does brand builders use? Is it Teachable? I can't stand it. I can't get to it from my phone. I can't listen to it while I'm driving. If I stop, like some of the videos are long. And that's the other thing. If you're gonna do courses, like we redo our course every year. That's the feedback we got last year, big time, was your videos are way too long. Yeah, I can't take it in. So we went back and I redid it. And the technology changes every year so much. So I went back and did like five 20 minute videos so that you could actually go back and so you don't have to go through the whole video. And that's another thing I don't like about Teachable is if I'm in the middle of watching something 
and I want to shift it from my computer to my phone, like I have to fa I have to log in fast. So it's the user experience as well. And so if you're going to do online courses, like we really, I mean, it's taken a few years for us to get traction on it because we needed to do beta groups. We needed to get feedback. We needed to try different platforms. So now I feel like really good about it, but you, you gotta have thick skin and you gotta ask people like, what do you like? What do you not like? And then, you know, just don't get stuck in your ways like with your online courses. Um, it's a great revenue stream. It took us, it takes us about eight months to build out a, an eight week program. It's a lot. And I'm gonna talk about the affiliate part as well with G GSC Academy. So on the back end, so GSC Academy has its own website. So when people go through the program and at the end, you know, we ask for feedback and they're like, this is amazing. I know 10 women that need this. And I'm like, okay, we'll sign up to become an affiliate. You know, so go to angelpalpa.com slash GSC affiliate. And then there's a whole website dedicated to it. So, you know, I did a video explaining, it's like you join the affiliate program, which we set it up through Kajabi. But again, you don't have to know that as the consumer, you share your affiliate link with your community and then you earn 30%. So right now in the course space, just what's industry standard is 30%. Some people, will like if I go on people's podcasts, they will say, well, I want to give back 10% or 15% off to my community and then I'll take a commission. And I used to have a skewed vision of what commission, but now as a course creator, and I know how much work it is, I sometimes I'm like, we'll do 10% off for our audience, but you have to put a time frame on it. So otherwise people don't, they don't convert, they don't check out. So it's like, and we've learned that the hard way too. It's like you have to put pressure on people to say, just like you said, you do affiliate marketing and you know you need to do it and you know how to do it, but you need that that punch in the butt of like, okay, time block it, put it on the calendar, let's get it done kind of thing. Um, so that's another thing that we're learning is everything that you do with your affiliate stuff, try to put some type of a time frame on it. So it's like, get this in the next 48 hours and I'll donate 10% to your favorite foundation or do something a little bit extra so that it will push people to commit to whatever you're doing because there's so much noise out there. And then monthly, like we have a goal every month, which Leah, you asked about people mm -hmm. to get five affiliates per month. And the way that we do that is through the podcast. So all of our things are connected now where before they weren't. And thanks to COVID that helped us like have time to like get our shit together. <laughs> but it's like, okay, if everything is not in alignment, the answer is no. So affiliate marketing really fit in. We used our podcast. So I interview really amazing people on our podcast. A lot of them have a book or they have a course. And then I have a course and we have books. And so we'll cross promote each other. Now, I typically like to either listen to the book first or I like to go through the course myself or have a team member go through the course before I'm gonna recommend it. I'm really big on that. So that's another thing. It's like most people that are, are our GSD Academy affiliates, they've gone through the program, they know what the program is and they also know the time commitment. If you buy, I don't know if y'all, I have bought courses and then they just sit there. Okay. It has to be on your calendar. Like it has to be. That's a good point. What you have to do when you're gonna set up your own affiliate program is you have to make it easy for the people to promote you. So this is just step one of like setting up the website. And again, we use our podcast, we use our YouTube channel, and now we're using our TikTok channel to pre-qualify people who are business owners who need GSC Academy. Yes, it's a $2,000 program, but if you love it and then you become an affiliate and four people in your community buy it, you make your money back. And it completely changes your business and your life. So why would you not do it? Like you don't just wanna put your affiliate stuff out there to have random people sign up. You wanna have a relationship and you wanna make sure that 
your brand and their brand is on the same page and you have the same goals so you can help support each other. Mm -hmm.